dating and the do's and the don'ts and what's going on out in the streets. <laughs> well, you got, I, I feel like you have some good advice to give us to, to help us have a beautiful relationship. That's what I feel. Tell us something good. Tell us, tell us some things that we should do. T tell us, tell you some things that you should do as far yeah. as who, as far as what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this and ask, um, as far as maintain, as far as maintaining a long term relationship, maintaining a long term relationship, mm -hmm. you have to have trust. You have to have. You have to be honest. Um, you have to be free. So honest, free, and trust. Right. Honest, so, free. Trust for me. Yeah, honest, free, and trust. We'll just start with trust. You have to trust yourself mm -hmm. so that you can trust the next person. So if you don't trust your movements and how you move, then you're definitely not going to trust your mate or the person that you're dating. And then you have to give it to God. Once you say, okay, I trust this person, give it to God. He's going to bring you the answer. You ain't got to worry about it or sweat that person or, you know what I mean? You ain't got to go to those lengths of uh, of trying to figure out what a person is doing and and not having trust. Uh, Star, where did you go, baby? Okay, so I said trust. You got to have trust. You got to trust yourself. And you got to trust your mate. Honesty. You have to be honest within yourself in the trust that you believe or the trust that you're going to give to someone. Be honest with it. Don't be a liar. Seems like everybody, everybody out there is uh, against liars. Nobody likes a liar. Nobody likes to be told to not to be told the truth. Just because it's easy to lie, you know, don't stick with that. Be truthful within yourself. It'll be it'll be a better outcome. So trust, honesty, and being free. Free. Being free is being free again within yourself. Each one of those things I said is starting with self. It begins with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Self-reflect on you. So being free is you want to be free. You want to be free in the mind. You want to be a free soul. You want to be a free individual to be able to give freedom to your mate or the person that you're dating. You don't want to keep them captive. You don't want to keep them captive in a relationship. You want that person to be free so that you guys can move in a way that's beautiful. You know, move in a way that when people see you, you light up the room. Nobody's insecure. You know, you're walking in with your head held high everywhere you go. You know, nobody's perfect. Relationships are not perfect. No relationship is perfect. No relationship is perfect. But um, start disappear for a moment there. But yeah, no relationship is perfect. Um, and yeah, that's what I can give. Just start with those three things. Uh, and try your best to be um, yourselves. Don't don't come in trying to be someone else, and then later on, in 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 during the dating phase or in your relationship, you change into someone else. Start out being open and honest, and start out being uh, vulnerable. Start out being vulnerable just a little bit so that you can show the person, excuse me, so that you can show the person that you're dating who you are. So they can see who you are versus uh, you telling them who you are. So I just, you you can hear me, uh, Star? Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know what's happening, guys. I am so sorry about the technical difficulties um, it is raining where I am. I do apologize for the um, the hiccups that's going on. But as I was saying, you know, go in a relationship. Not I'm not saying being vulnerable, like just giving your oh your whole self. 
but vulner being vulnerable to be able to listen to the other person, being vulnerable to be able to hear yourself speak. So just in case you're saying something crazy, you can fix it. And then your relationship should blossom to the next level. There's levels in relation in relationships. To get to a 20-year relationship or even a 15-year relationship, there are levels. Let me let her come back in. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, but guys, um, no. There, there are definitely levels in a relationship. And um, as I've said previously before in other shows that uh, no relationship is perfect. Nobody is perfect. It's not easy. Trust me, it's work. Just like a J-O-B having a relationship and a mate. It's work. It's definitely work. You got to put your all into it. And just like you put your back into it, you got to put your all into it. All right, Diamond Matrix. Oh, no, you <laughs> didn't. I want to hear about that on the next show. Let's talk Diamond about it. <laughs> Who said something about Diamond Matrix? It was just a little something mentioned. A little something mentioned. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely, <laughs> it definitely was. If you caught it, those of you who didn't catch that episode, go to my YouTube channel. It's there. It, it's a lot of interesting shows on my YouTube channel, Shock Talk Radio Twenty Twenty. But Star, I was just, I was just following up on the trust, the honesty, and being free. Yes, you know. Um, you know, you just got to trust yourself so you can trust your mate. And you got to make sure your mate is free in peace and have peace in the mind and the membrane. So that freedom going to allow each of you to move freely. So no That's no right. one no one is insecure in their relationship. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely demand freedom. I, I couldn't be with someone that's going to be holding me down and over my neck. I can't move. I can't look at nobody. I can't know. Mm -mm. That's been right. There, been there, done that. A lot of men try to get with a woman or women or vice versa. Women get with a man and try to consume that person so much that they can't even move left or right. That's true. You know, so. That's true. That's that's. I, I think that was, that is one of the things we needed to hear. Yeah, it is definitely true. And guess what? That's not me being perfect. That's me. That's learned behavior. I had to learn this. You know what I'm saying? To get past five years that I was so happy about. That's in the episode two, guys. Go check that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then to get to the 10-year mark. And then to a 15-year mark. And then almost 20. That's work. Yeah. That's not easy. You know what yeah. I mean? Nights I cried. You know how many times he packed a bag? I ain't never had a man say he leaving me. <laughs> I was always the one saying you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So it was a lot of learning each other, a lot of growth. If you are immature and you're, and you're real with yourself and that mate that you're with is trying to help you get to be a better you, then why not be vulnerable and listen? Yeah. You know, a lot of people get in relationships and don't listen. I was one of those people. I, I wasn't listening to to him because, well, I'm just saying in general. Yeah. So that person, because he wasn't worthy of me listening fully. I understand. You, you see what I'm saying? But when you get somebody who opens your ears so that you, and then you mature and you start saying, okay, you know what? Let me take this serious. If this is what I want. Yeah. Do you really want this? Because if you do, you will work at it. It's just like a job. Yeah, you, you're right, and I agree with, um, you know, learning the behavior, the learned behavior. You know, just you know, growing over the years, and we continue to grow. And I would just say my personal experience might, you know, have been not fully listening, and and not letting the other person talk because you upset, but you still have to listen and you still have to let them talk. 
you know, and that's a learned behavior, you know, that I had to learn. Like I'm pissed off, but I still got to let this person talk, you know? Right. Right. Yeah. That's, that's definitely a learned. That's something that you learn how to do. Yeah. That's, that takes practice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to get your point across. If two people are trying to get their point across at the same time, nobody's listening. That's true. And nobody can't talk because everybody trying to talk. So you have to, that's learn. That's a way that you learn how to collectively and um, correct, co be correct in um, talking and communicate with each right. other. You know, communication right. is key. Yeah. You know, and that's it's all about, hmm? No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And it's all about your communication skills and how you communicate. I'm I'm a communicator. I, I'm a I'm a people's person. I know how to talk. I know how to you know. But my dialogue may not be with someone who's educated at that level of bachelor's and master's degree. But I know mm -hmm. how to get my point across where you understand me. Very if clear. If it's five words in in the alphabet or five words that I'm saying, you're going to understand what I'm saying. You're right. going to clearly understand what I'm saying, and that's what it takes in relationships. You got to be clear, and you got to be open. I learned that's learned behavior. That ain't being me being perfect. That's me actually going through the phase of in a relationship now marriage. Yeah, and and showing us, you know, how the behavior is learned over the years, over time, where you can become better. We can, yeah. you know, we can, we can't work on ourselves personally. We, you know, we can work on everything about ourselves to be better. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what a lot of people um, in relationships who are trying to date. There are so many dating <laughs> apps and dating shows and, you know, people wanting to meet each other. People want to be, especially in our communities or just people, period. They want to be loved. They want to be in relationships. But a lot of people have a lot of a, a whole list of what they want and they're willing to sacrifice their happiness based off that list. Yeah. Meaning they'll be alone versus to deal with a man or a woman that's going to cause grief. Let me ask you a question. Um, do you believe hurt people hurt people? And do, do, do you think they ever get over the hurt to, to move on? Mm, I do believe hurt people hurt people. I, I wouldn't say it's an absolute phrase like all hurt people hurt people, but in the general sense of it, I, I do I do believe that. I do believe that you could be hurt and hurt somebody because you're not healed. That's why it's important to be to, to get healed, to get to a healing point, to work on your mental health. Um and the the other part of the question you said, do you do do we think they get better? Get get over. You answer that. You answer that in the first your response. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is healing. Yeah. You know, hurt people, hurt people. Yes, because you come in. That's what you call baggage. When you come into a relationship, you're trying to date. Some people come in free and clear and willing to help that next person or willing to hear so they can improve and be together. You know what I'm saying? And make the relationship work. But a person who's hurt and bringing that baggage, they use that baggage against the person who they who they dating. That's right. You know what I mean? And then it caused the relationship not to prosper because you're so hurt and you're not you're not coming in being vulnerable to get over the hurt because you got to have that person that you're dating or you're in a relationship with that's going to help you through your baggage. Yeah. Like a baggage is like a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like a bag, like this little bag, you know, you the baggage, just the baggage that you come in with baggage. You know what I mean? You come in with baggage on your back. And if you have that person who can help you chip off the baggage, just chip off. Say if you got 10 things in this bag, 10 mm -hmm. things, they can help you chip that off. It could be small things, big things. And once they chip that stuff off, you can be your whole authentic you, better you to make the relationship prosper. Yeah, and they give me a they give me a new appreciation for the old Erica Badu song "Bag Lady" because that's what she was talking about. She said, "I guess nobody ever told you all you must hold on to is you, is you." That's okay. it. Okay, okay, Bag Lady. Mm. Yes, Erica Badu had some some nice hits. 
She did, and, and and they and they wasn't all like commercial. She really had conscious stuff, deep stuff. Yeah, it was she meaningful. Had, yeah, it, it embodied the artist that she was. They wouldn't just make something to shake your butt. It was no, it, it was, was a her. message. Yeah, it was her embodied in her song. So it yeah. was awesome. And, and what she was going through, stuff like real life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was I was just thinking like how you know how I was thinking about the question, you know, how I said. I don't I don't think all hurt people hurt people because I was thinking, well, some hurt people isolate themselves, you know, so they don't hurt other people. But at the same time, that's still hurting a person who they could be in a good relationship with. You know what I mean? That's still hurting that person because they can't be with you because you're hurt. Isolating, so, right. And you isolate yeah, yourself. Yeah. yeah. You're, still hurt, you're still hurting people even when you're isolating because you need to heal and open that's up need to heal yeah yeah you have, so to let, you have to let go of stuff i'm sorry you have to let go of stuff like they say with god each day there's new mercy and new grace and to give it a visual it's like a clean slate god gives us a clean slate every day that's how wonderful he is and though we're not perfect as him he wants us to aim to let go of anything that bothered you the day before. Just let it go. You got to forgive people like God forgives us. That's what we have to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, forgiveness is, I don't know if, if it, it seems to be kind of hard today. I don't, people are not forgiving. No. They're, they're, they're more, <clears throat> oh. It, but you it, can't it's, do it in the flesh. You can't do it in the flesh. You, have, you only do can it do it in the flesh. The you can only do yes. it in the flesh. Yes. And that's why I'm saying that. And I got caught right there. But thank you for that. Because you're right. You you, you can't forgive in the flesh. You have to forgive in the spirit. And yeah. there's no spiritual rim. There's no yeah. spiritual rim out here. I mean, people are living in the flesh. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. We got to use our heart more. We have to really get back in tune. Our, our society, our community, we have to get back in tune with the heart. Like I say, the heart of the community, the heart of everything in that in that spirit, you know. What do you think? I agree. I agree. What do you think about our leadership? Our leadership as far as men raising our young men out here. Our, our, our young boys and young, the young people are losing. I just feel like. And, and then the thing about it is, I was listening to Doctor Umar. Do you do you have you seen any of his stuff? I've seen I've seen a lot of his clips, and I've seen the clip in your story, which is very interesting. I mean, he he let them have it because they did not understand what he was saying. Is that our men, the young youth that's out here reckless, mm -hmm. they did not understand what he was saying. Is that they're they're the the other guys were trying to blame the women. So why, yeah. you know, things are the way it is. But no, the women have to raise are raising these boys by themselves. So what were the leaders to come in and help? And the yeah. guy was saying, he the leader. He, I am a leader. But like he was saying, he was he was talking about himself individually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really like what he was saying. I really well, like what he was saying. I think that there are positive mentors out here. Um, of course, there's a lot of negative ones. And just like with news, you know, the negative always is always what gets spotlighted, unfortunately, you know. So, you know, we have the, the job and the commission to spotlight, you know, the positive mentors. You had one on your show one time. I can't remember his name, but what he was doing positive stuff. It was like with basketball, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. But I just mean like somebody yeah. like him, like you know? That. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that, you know, just looking at two different lifestyles, a lifestyle of a, of a boy and children who participate in sports and the life of the ones that don't is two very different lives. Um, and I just wish that more youth would participate in sports and hobbies and then life would go on a better path. Right, but the but how do they get to those hobbies? Is it some? Is it's the parents need to do? They need to step in because mm -hmm. I know a lot of kids are are falling by the wayside because they don't have that leader. Like, because I remember um the boys and girls club or it used to be like for because I had my son in in one um in school they had the mentors. I think it was like they dress up in black black pants, white shirt, red tie. 
And, mm -hmm. and that mentor, what they did, it was a boys group. They went on trips. They had conversations and they talked to the young you. You know what I'm saying? Do they still have that? I don't think they have those like that. Every, yeah, you know, like, like, like a big brother program. Like uh -huh. a big brother program. Yeah, because yeah. I remember hearing of a big brother program, you know, like years ago. I'm not for sure of what's active right now. Um, but, you know, that just made me think about um, about um, the nonprofit, you know, my nonprofit, Real Life Inc., and how I'm modeling it after, you know, the Boys and Girls Club and the YMCA that we need to have the program, Big right. Sister, Big, big, big Sister brother. and Big Brother programs. Yes. Like, we can have any program that we want in the nonprofit. And all we have to do is look and see what the community is missing. It's definitely missing that. It's, it's definitely missing that. And and a lot of kids are falling from, to the wayside because parents have to work. And because yeah. that's the focus on, and then single parent home. So if you have yeah. a single parent, the father is not there to help take off that load. You know what I'm saying? To help raise the child. That means the child is just loose. Out here robbing, stealing, doing these things. Now you're caught up in the justice system, yeah. juvenile, all this stuff. Ace mm -hmm. Franklin, what you call the thing? Ace. Yeah, uh, the ankle. Uh, the ankle yeah. monitor. So now yeah. you're in the system. So yeah. we definitely, people, we definitely need some mentors. And, you know, I hope my show, I hope people are watching, share this so maybe it can encourage people around the world to you know, maybe create some programs. I even wanted to start one here, right? And I'll say, let's get a girls group. Let me get a bunch of, you know, teenage girls and we'll go to the park, have conversations, play kickball, play for, they didn't want to do that. Yeah. They were not interested. I said, I could start a, a cheering team. I could start, it did not work. I, I think I did it maybe twice, but, but I know, it's going to take more than just twice. You know what I mean? But yeah. it, it, they're not interested. The young people are not interested. I ask. They're not interested. So what yeah. do you do, guys? What do you do? Um, Star, is there anything else you want to leave uh, to the people? We're going to go ahead and close. And remember to tune in to Shop Talk Radio 2020 on uh, Instagram and YouTube on my YouTube channel. And uh, Star, is there anything you want to leave? I would just like to say I'm very excited that my latest single, One in a Trillion, its video has been nominated for the huge Carolina Music Video Awards in Charlotte. And we will be walking the red carpet on August 5th. Nice, nice. One in a trillion. One in a trillion. <laughs> one in a trillion. One in a trillion. Hey. <laughs>